Alright, since everyone was asking for it, I'm gonna do my own tutorial step by step on how to disassemble the Joy-Cons, install the cardboard, and I'll add an additional step that it will be cleaning the Joy-Cons analog inside. Oops. Okay. So, in this for this tutorial, you'll need a, a toothpick, a Q-tip, a tri-wing screwdriver. It's the screwdriver with three points. A Phillips screwdriver and a very thin uh, screwdriver, but it's the it's just for opening the analog stick. So with this out of the way, let's start. First thing that you, you, you need to keep in mind is that the, the Joy-Cons are very fragile. So when opening it, you must really be careful and don't apply too much force or else it will break or strip the screws. Just go slowly and with patience. Also, it's important to put each screws in its original position, so I'm matching the positions here. Because each screw is already aligned to the, the Joy-Con spots. It will be easier to put them back in. Okay, with these four screws out, you can open the Joy-Con, you can just pull here and slowly with your nails trying to open it don't force it go slowly there's a, a clip on the side so you, you just need to go with patience little by little until it unclips Here, okay, open it and the focus, come on, here. Inside, you'll see this flat cable. This is very fragile. Don't pull or pull it too much. This one is also very fragile. You can move out this antenna. Here, you see the, the wire of the battery. So to remove the battery, you'll just need to pull this wire. You grab both and pull it. It will, it will un unattach. From the from this position, let me show you the place here. I'll put an image so you'll see the the socket better. And inside, you'll need your regular Phillips screwdriver. And there's screws here, here, and here. In my case, I've stripped the screws from too much opening the Joy Cons and closing, so I will only remove two in my case. But you will have three. Um, let's go. Once you have removed these screws, it's still stuck. It's hard to unscrew in the cameras. Okay, did it. So once you remove the screws, put this here. You have to open this section, but there's a, a tiny flat cable here. And this is another thing that I broke from too many opening and closing my Joy-Cons. I've ordered already a replacement flat cable, but when you open this, you have to open this like this. Let me show you. Like this, see, this flat cable will be stuck here. So you're just gonna do like this without ripping it. You, you don't need to unattach this. You just need to open it like this movement without making any force on this. And here you already has the, the analog stick. You can already see it was, it has the cardboard here. So for this, you, you'll need to unattach the Joy-Con, so, or the analog sticks. So you'll just unscrew this. And unscrew this one too. Okay, 
So the next step will be you, you would need to hold it. Mine is broken already, but I'm just showing how you would need to to hold it. And you need to unlatch this here. There's a small tab that you have to pull up from here. And then you can detach the Joy-Con flat cable. And then just pull the analog stick like this. You pull aside here first and it's out. You can see there is a, a piece here that's open. It's for slide. So when you're sliding out, you're gonna do like this movement from this side. Then it's out. And to clean the analog stick, it will have small tabs here and here. In my case, I broke my tabs when trying to open it, but it's not a problem because these tabs will hold the metal plate in place. So even if it's broken, these two parts will hold it. So you, if you are, there is another a model let me show you just a sec so here's another model it has uh, different tabs you can see that the tabs is is like this it's bent on the in the places it's like the same uh, plastic part but the tabs instead of being folded they are bent so for both of them you need to open it like this you put the screwdriver here push it and like slightly pry it off when you pry it off you're gonna open this part very carefully and here you you have the metal section and the graphite pads all you need to do is then grab your q-tip and put some isopropyl alcohol on it You, you can put as much as uh, as you want because isopropyl, uh, isopropyl alcohol is not harmful to electronics. And then you can just swab it and clean all of the dust here. Once you've done it, you can also clean the dust here. You can just slightly dust it here and, and it, whatever other parts that has dust and when, once you've done it, you have to assemble it back together. So you put it like this, like an L shape. And the L shape here matches with the ribbon cable upwards. See? And just... It's very, it's very delicate, so you just need some patience. And position it. Like this. Okay, so you have your analog stick. You check for see if the all axes are moving, left, right, up, down. Everything's moving, then you're okay. And then you're gonna reassemble it. So let's get the Joy-Con back. I, I didn't do it on the original analog because it was already clean, so I did it on the the second model. This L button is you can just put it here like this, and just do the same steps back in. Instead of closing, you you attach like this, like you removed. You just need to press it, then it's all right there, and put back the ribbon cable slowly. Latch again the the flap there, and let's screw the so with this, and you can just but this part be careful with the flat cable that will be there. Oh, I forgot the the card, so you can apply the card on top of it and put it back together do this circular movement to make sure it everything's falling in place be sure to get the antenna out don't let it get tangled 
And don't worry about the card, as once you press under with the, and you hold it with the screws, there's, there will be no space for the card to move around. You can see here, I'm trying to mess it with my finger and it doesn't get out of place. So you just need to screw it back together. Um, let's get the Phillips screwdrivers. screw movement and then screw it back again don't apply uh, don't apply strength the screws are there to hold the the joy-con not to tighten it they're just there to keep the things in place if you tighten too much you will strip and there's won't there won't be a way to screw anything back again like I did here so it, you can put the battery back in and here's where the uh, toothpick goes uh, you see the battery has a, a spot there for it so you just place it and slightly position it on top and when it's aligned with the terminal it's a little bit hard to do but with patience you can do it when once it's aligned you just need to press it with a q-tip press it make sure it's well connected then you just put the antenna here there is a, a small slot here so you can put the antenna on that slot make sure it's on the inside here there's a small room for it Okay, once it's there, you just need to put it back together. And slowly close it, verify if everything's closed. And tighten the screws back in. And that's it. Again, unscrew and screw all the way in. Don't, do, you, with your few resistance, or if the, the screw is like doing these jumps, stop doing it and go for the next one. Stop, go for the next one. For the next one once all screws are done you're finished let's go for the yellow one for this i'll just do the the first section since you already know how to clean the analog sticks so i'll just open here Just try it with your nails, go slowly, unclip, use it, open the battery, get it out. These screws from here are different from the tri wing, just remember that. Take this out. Here's a little bit different than the other one. See? Uh, this flat cable has more space than the, the other Joy-Con and it's easier for opening. If you need to uh, unattach this analog stick, 
you have to open this flat cable because it's over the screw. So you just unlatch here, unscrew this, unscrew this, unlatch here, push this, and you can take the analog stick out. But on mine, it's already here. That's the cardboard here. I also put one here because the start button was a little bit too soft. I like them hard to press. So I put another card there just to make sure it's well fit. And then put it back in, get the Phipps screwdrivers back and do it everything back again. And there you have it. Both Joy-Cons cleaned and completely free from the drift. See you soon. Bye bye.